Hey guys, Michael Lunz here. So today they released a dev blog on the POH rooms and the PvP. Basically, it's a it's an overhaul of the construction and it's basically going to make it much better and much more useful of a skill. Um, and as for PvP, they're doing a lot of minor changes, but a lot of big ones as well to PvP to make it a bit better. Um, and a bit more dangerous to be in the wilderness. Um, and uh, this video is going to be a little bit long, I think. Because um, I, I read it over already. And it goes pretty in-depth on, on some of the topics that are in this. And this is a dev blog, so a lot of this stuff is going to be pulled. And yeah. So let's start off with the untradeable items in PvP. Basically, uh, what this is, is... You're going to be charged for any item that is an untradeable that you lose in the wildy. Uh, and this only applies to defenders, torso, or any barbarian assault equipment. That's what it says here. Void knight equipment and fire cape. And I don't really see a problem with this. I, I'm pretty sure that they proposed this like a while back, but they didn't do anything with it. I guess they're waiting for like a bunch of PvP things to be added, but yeah. Um, I'm not sure what the cost is really determined. I guess it's like, uh, it's gonna be like degraded, and eventually, it's. I I think it's gonna work like barrows. I think that's what it's saying here, and you have to repair it after a while. Um, yeah. Let me just go on my alt for a sec. And then we have the Golden Glory, which this is actually a really interesting thing. And uh, basically, the Golden Glory is a glory that you can get from charging regular glories at the obelisk. And you have like a 1 in 25,000 chance of getting it. And the Golden Glory has unlimited charges, which is awesome for any runecrafters that still runecraft at the abyss or just... You know, it's really just convenient in general. Um, and yeah, and the thing I like about this is that, you know, it's it's going to make that area a lot more dangerous, you know. And I really don't know what I feel about this because um, a 1 in 25k chance, yeah, but you also don't lose any glories that you charge unless you get PK'd, right? So, like, imagine doing this in a 2k total world, you know, I'm, you're probably more, much more safe being there than, you know, anywhere else. Um, other than that, they're also releasing the Elder Chaos Druids, which is basically a better uh, best in slot magic gear for one defense peers, which, which is pretty cool. Um, they're also making a bunch of changes to Bounty Hunter, such as, like, making bounty hunter targets value uh, based on the GE value and uh, a skip target button, which is, although I, I they did mention that you still have the same restrictions as, you know, skipping a regular target now, but this is just going to make it so you don't have to log out every time, which I don't know. I really don't know about that. I'm not a PKer, so. And this is the kind of unfortunate thing that I think is probably going to fail a poll, honestly. Because um, I, I don't really know what the, com what the community really likes about this. But basically, you won't be able to drop items. Um, and basically, you will lose any high value item that you will pretty much die every time with. Um... I don't really like this because uh, for rune crafting, you know, I usually drop a glory, and if I can't drop a glory, I'm gonna lose a glory 100% each time, and PKers will 
be literally camping forever. Um, and especially with that golden glory thing, like, how am I going to runecraft with that? Like, you know, like, it's, it's, it's going to be annoying. But yeah, I'm pretty sure people are not going to really vote for this thing. Um, then there's like a bunch of stuff where, uh, like if a big team comes and, uh, you know, your friend comes in to help you and he drops food for you, you know, like that's, you know, I don't know. I don't really see a problem with that, but I guess I want to change this. Um, furthermore, we have Lava Dragon Bones, which is basically... Uh, they're planning on increasing the XP to make it more of an active place, which is not that bad. Um, Lava Dragons are actually, like, really good for elites, so, you know, why not? And this is also a pretty awesome change um, for people who PK a lot. Uh, usually, you will lose, like, random, like, really expensive items due to high alloc value and they're pretty much just planning on changing the high alloc value on a lot of things just so you don't lose like stupid items and I hope this works in favor of the golden glory what for like rune crafters um because I'd like if I can rune craft with a max cape and have the golden glory that'd be awesome uh and this is where the big change is gonna happen this is the POA, like, I read it, and it's honestly a massive change. Like, literally, like, you know what, I, I'm, I'm, I'm just going to go straight into it. Because um, it's, it's, it's honestly crazy, in a good way. Um, so, basically, they're going to change the way you can pretty much move rooms in your house. And that is awesome, because right now, you will pretty much lose any money that you spent into a room just to move it somewhere else and for a lot of people that want to train construction like past 99 they usually have this problem um especially if you train prayer um yeah and then there's a bunch of stuff and by looking at this picture i thought no way i recognize this altar and yep they're releasing it you will be able to switch your mage, your magic book in your POH. It's awesome. As you can see, there's the altar. You can basically have any altar you want, or you can have one altar that has every single prayer book. But obviously, 90 construction. Um, you know that's pretty cool. Then you have this random, like, oh, cool. Let's look at a log. <laughs> like what? Um, this, on the other hand, I'm not sure how to feel about this, because I remember they talked about this on a Q&A once, and, uh, I think some of the JMods didn't really like it, because it would devalue, uh, like, the purpose of, like, buying and using rings all the time. But basically what this is, is, uh, you can make, like, pretty much like a Mounted Glory, except for Unlimited Ring of Dueling, Game Snacks, uh, Combat Bracelets, Skills Necklaces, and Ring of Wealth and Amulet of Glory, which I don't know why they would add this as well. Um, maybe they could have put the Skills Necklace in here. Um, but yeah. Uh, I mean, I like it. I don't mind. Um, I think it's still better to just have a bunch of combat bracelets rather than go to your POH. And, you know, they're releasing so many things, like, normally you would have all your teleports, your portals, everything, like, really close to your, 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 uh, entrance portal. And they're releasing a lot of stuff that is, like, you're not going to be able to have it right beside, right, like, right when you tele in. Um... You have your boss slayer, which is basically your jars, like a jar, like a use for jars. Um, you know, it's pretty much cosmetic. Then you have the mounted display where you can put like a hundred mil and a bunch of capes. 
you also have a quest list you could put to show your progress of like how many quests you've done. And this is by far the thing that I can't wait because this is really cool. You know, in RuneScape, like there's a lot of money making methods that require like like when you really try and find stuff, there, there's always something missing. You know, there's always something that it takes you too long to get to here or you know, it takes too long to do that. And I think like with this construction update, it's going to solve that a little bit. Um cuz you have stuff like this. You have fairy rings and spirit trees and a combination of both, which is honestly insane. I've like, I really hope this is actually faster than the quest cape. I'm not really sure if it will be, but we'll see. And uh, I don't know if this is actually gonna, uh, to me, I think this might be good. We already have like two of these. We have clan wars and the desert amulet for the elite diaries. Oh, what is this? Top top air I didn't see this can be sculpted into various boss heads I have no idea what that is <laughs> but this is basically that inside your POH um, it's good if you do Zulra and if you're a PK you don't have to go to the Dularini every time the one thing I hope this does not happen is create like a lot of people to start rushing because I can already, like, because from what I remember with Dragon Claws, I remember people would just rush in Dragon Claws, then just go back and get spec again, keep doing this repeatedly, and, you know, get some kills. And this recharges your special attack, you know. Uh, this one's the same thing as the, as this one, it's just, it's more cosmetic. Then you have, like, different styles. For your garden and whatnot and this is actually interesting um they're releasing obsidian fences and all this stuff um i'm not sure this is going to require takul or it's going to require actual obsidian parts like you can use weapons or something but as for the redwood fence this is actually going to be interesting because we don't have redwood planks we have the logs but we don't have the planks so i assume that this is gonna be the new thing that they're gonna also add and as you can see like they're releasing a lot of stuff in this dev blog it's you know they have tables they have everything then you have these random chairs you can have um, and then we go here so we basically have like a destroy slot in your bank where you can just put items in there and there will be a warning screen so rather than dropping items you can just throw it in there and it will be gone from the game and I'm I, I can already see a bunch of people making videos you know like oh my god he put his arcane in the destroy slot whatever <laughs> um, then we have high alchemy which is pretty much like just should this warning blah 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 happen uh then we have zombie zombies on harmony island which basically they're gonna make it unaggressive so this is actually good if you do herb runs um now if you've seen my video on the compost thing i'm gonna probably test this out when this comes out but they're gonna make compost kind of like how you can buy noted plant pots and stuff like that so you can buy packs of a hundred and at the current price of compost let me just check they're 243 each and one compost costs like 30 GP so I wonder how this is gonna work um, ooh this is actually interesting I didn't really read this the abyssal dagger drop is gonna be at 1 in 32k drop I still got a long ways to go for 200 mil slayer, so why not? Um, lumberjack equipment, yes. Um, this I don't really care about. God eggs, um, bind and freeze, blah blah blah. Now this is actually pretty cool. Um, they're chain. They're basically. They said the that the ring of suffering is going to be. In 
uh, imbued at Nightmare Zone, and it's going to have double the, the stats, and it's going to have a recoil effect. I don't know how I feel about this. Um, I think this could potentially be really close to the Zerk Ring in a way, because... Well, I mean, it depends on how recoil works. I actually don't... I've never really used the recoil. I don't really do Zolra. But I assume, like, when you get hit, like, a 20, then the damage that's dealt from the recoil is, like, 1 or 2 or something. I don't know how it works. And then there's just a bunch of cosmetic stuff. Should this... Should you get more nightshades? And just a bunch of cosmetic stuff. And that's pretty much it. Um, this is a really big update. Uh, I will also be putting a link... In, of this dev vlog in the description but yeah I can't wait for this to be pulled and rip anybody that's gonna be going for 99 construction in the near future peace <laughs>